how to change your Shopify URL. Well, that's what I'm going to show you guys in this pretty quick and easy video. Now, your Shopify URL is actually your domain. So you actually want to change your domain name. How can you actually do that? Now, by the way, if you would like to have your first three months for only $1, then you can actually click in the link in the description. This will bring you over to this page right over here. It says start for free, then enjoy $1 per month for the first three months. So if you would like that, then make sure to click the link. Well, go to the settings and then you'll be brought to the store details. Here you can already see your domain or URL. You want to scroll a bit down to see domains right over there. And this is your domain. Here you can actually click on change to a new myshopify.com domain. Um, I, I'm on the free trial or um, I just haven't paid for a domain. So my domain will all, always end with a myshopify.com. So when I click on there, as you can see, by the way, it's right over there, I can actually change it. So I'll go ahead and change it to something like helpfulonline.myshopify.com. And it currently says that it is available. So keep that in mind as well, because sometimes your domain name might already be taken. Simply click on add domain and we'll just have to wait for this to load. Now, if you are looking for a, an actual like good custom domain where which doesn't say myshopify.com, then there's also a link in the description to web.com. Here you can get some good domains. You can find new domains right over here with .com, .net, .org, .co, .store, .info. And there's lots of information in here which you can find. There's even some AI domain generator, which is pretty new, I guess. But um, yeah. Now we actually have two domains and currently this is my primary um, domain as you can see. Let's say you have a lot of these domains and you simply want to change it to one of those. Simply click on one of those, then you can click on change domain type and then set it to primary domain as you can see. I don't want that though, so yeah. If this video helped you out, please let me know in the comments and I will see you next time.